And just let us uh, go into some of the comments. Uh, of course, Dr. Samia will be starting. Please give us comment uh, about all the things. Well, yeah, we, we've put, you know, we've passed um, in a nutshell, but this transparent perspective, we really need everything to be fine and your suggestions and our suggestions and to make us um, in the name of God, of course, I'm very pleased with this uh, meeting and the invitation uh, of uh, the center, the uh, Egyptian Economic Center. I think as uh, to Imam Ali, we are going to take much more taxes. Okay, let's get into the uh, bottom of the essence of the subject. Of course, uh, I didn't know the presentation before, so I would have uh, preferred to get it in order to uh, prepare for the answers. But this uh, was very good presentation uh, because all uh, what we need is reform as much as we can to exert 100% effort and to accept any sort of advice uh, because we all want reform. Uh, and although I'm an executive branch, not a legislative uh, branch, I can evaluate uh, that uh, the presentation is excellent, very good presentation, and it gives us uh, points of view and highlights uh, a lot of experience of other countries. I think that we will be very interactive because we have uh, uh, very high profiles, Dr. Ashraf Al Arabi, and all uh, attending are very high profiles and elites in the specialization. And the very start, we are going to take Dr. Uh, Abla uh, has uh, discussed 10 points which are very important in this important presentation. But there are more than 10 points that are very, very important, and I'm going to start. Dr. Abla spoke about uh, the tax equality, and that's very, very important. We are going to start. Where are we going to start uh, this uh, equality taxation? Please get us this slide where you have the comparisons of uh, the lows uh, since uh, low 50 54 till the last uh, amendment and let's get uh, pick uh, the thread down from here of course uh, the low uh, 56 for uh, 54 is the first organized law for the real estate tax, but it's very disciplined, organized, and uh, methodological. But that uh, doesn't mean it's the first law for real estate. We could say that the law of real estate is divided into two sections, the real estate on properties and the real estate tax on the lands, agricultural lands. When it was first imposed, it was imposed in 1842 two in the um, time of Muhammad Ali and the first law for real estate was uh, 100 in the 19th century uh, after uh, this 19th century the um, taxation was imposed in a certain way and then in the law 56 in order to reach equality uh, of taxation we had other uh, uh, laws, uh, but they were only related to leases and rentals uh, until 1981, where there is 136 law which exempted all the uh, properties, uh, with the exception of uh, the super luxury. And we will not find in Egypt super luxury except exceptions. Uh, very, very small uh, percent. And therefore, it was very important to reach equality that we have a law. So the law is not in 2008. It was before that. Let's uh, speak beyond the scope of this at any other time. But it was very important that the law uh, is uh, to be released in 2008 because we are speaking about equality of taxation. This, What is the philosophy of the uh, law of 168? Uh, 96 for 2008. What's the philosophy behind that? The first point is uh, the taxation equality, which means that the units uh, uh, subdued uh, to uh, the taxation are 11 million unit or maybe less. Uh, these are the uh, 
called on of the uh, or the boundaries of uh, the uh, country, we should present uh, to the governor uh, certain information about the boundaries or what we call the cordon, and uh, this uh, hence result in imposing the taxes. In order to reach taxation equality, then the Rahab and the Tagamoa and October 6, and all uh, this uh, country, or, and all these districts, uh, uh, were not activated yet. And Dr. Abla also mentioned the fact that we uh, need to increase money. Okay, that's right. It's not only filling the treasures or uh, treasures of the state, but uh, start looking into uh, looking into the rational distribution of taxes uh, according to ownership. So equality and revenues for the state are two philosophies. Is that on the level of uh, uh, habitation only? Of course not, because industrial city and tenth of Ramadan, they don't pay taxes on the factories. But some people have a little workshop and they pay taxes. So the first two points for the law and the efficiency and the benefits of the law 196 for 2008 is uh, the philosophy of uh, equity. Uh, and also to look, as we say, or to achieve uh, income for the state. Let's uh, look into the uh, consequence of the laws. At the very start of the law, uh, which, uh, you know, I could say had bad luck in the very start, and all uh, the, uh, you can have your opinion, and I have Dr. Mahmoud, he would give me his suggestion. We started uh, with bad luck because the law was attacked from the stakeholders um, under the pretext or by the excuse of the poor. They, they tried to manipulate uh, the system uh, by uh, acting like the speak on behalf of the poor. So this is bad luck and the bad luck went on and on. And so other laws uh, pointed out by Dr. Abla was not, were not new laws, but they were amendments. 500,000 pounds for uh, each uh, unit, so uh, less than 500,000 points uh, as a market value is exempted. In the parliament they started, uh, uh, Dr. Yusuf uh, back then was there, and uh, they started challenging the law. They said, how can one having a unit uh, with one pay a tax and one who has 10 units pay 500,000. So what, that was a problem. And therefore, the amendments started coming in in 103, where they said uh, that uh, at the end, the exemption for one unit only. And then uh, there were differences concerning uh, the price until the final was uh, that 2 million pounds for the unit. If it's more than that, uh, then uh, uh, there must be more uh, money for that. I'm just speaking about the legislation side, but uh, uh, that's what I'm explaining. Two million pounds is an ideal number for the unit or the real estate unit that could that should be exempted. Uh, and I think uh, that this is okay, this is good. In 103, there was another exemption for uh, um, non-residential units as a market value, which means that to encourage the uh, non-residential units or the small projects, because they are different than residents, so the unit every unit which is not resident and which is valued at 100,000, it's exempted. So if one is renting 10, work, uh, 10 workshops in, with 100 pounds in a month, they are all exempted. So the amendments were very important in the exemption uh, dimension uh, of the number of units and also it found non-residential units for the small uh, projects. So so that uh, we encourage these small uh, enterprises. And the last amendment was signed uh, by His uh, Excellency uh, President Sisi because the bad reputation and the bad luck of the law went on and on until uh, 2014. And that's why we have all these um, discussions about uh, the law. 
the last amendment was in uh, month eight with the presidential decree uh, uh, 117 about the amendments that I mentioned and there was other uh, amendments in the exemption uh, concerning the hotels of the armed forces and the hospitals of the armed forces we have been into all this rhetoric of exempting the hotels of the armed forces I was for the opinion that everything pertaining hotel and the hospitals of the armed forces is a governmental property and it, it, it's owned by the state but they insisted it should be clear but item 11 we are going to get back to it uh, it, it item 11 defined uh, the uh, taxes uh, that uh, are not to be imposed are to be exempted and that is the difference uh, location that uh, are not uh, uh, bound by item 11 uh, will have a different dimension but uh, most of uh, the uh, presentation and exemption but the truth is uh, maybe the Dr. Mahmoud was with us in these conferences and usually whenever I attend a conference I don't say that I am an official for the real estate taxes but uh, like all the people attending I told him that the article on the exemptions of the taxes uh, for the schools and uh, universities for example how should it be exempted if someone went to make a very simple operation for 20,000 and so in the amendment it says if it does not object to make profit it does not target to make profit so here the tax authority it's not the tax authority but the amendments from the different recommendations and the symposiums like today's this was the recommendation and then it was added as a amendment also dr. Abla said that uh, the result of these amendments um, and these laws, uh, there was no or type of regulation in the collection of the real estate taxes or in dealing with some institutions. So let us see how dealing with the institutions, like the protocols, we, uh, we couldn't deal with these organizations and institutions. At first, uh, when the law was established in its first amendment in 103, that there are some establishments that um, as a minister, the, like the minister of finance and the uh, specialized minister should meet and put the standards. Why? Because they are more capable of uh, putting the standards on which we can evaluate because they have a special nature. For example, the hotels. How can I value the price of the hotels, the factories I have inside the factories? There is the petroleum and the surrounding areas. I couldn't put a value for it. I have the tourism. I have factories. I have petroleum. I have ports like the ports, um, maritime ports, uh, land ports, uh, warehouses that have special nature inside the Minister of um, Transport, for example. I have, for example, uh, the um, air ports. Um, I, I couldn't come uh, beside these airports because there is a special article, because there was a problem uh, with the shops inside the airport. According to the Article 11, these shops are leased. But uh, as airports, uh, we have many private airports, uh, like Mars Alam Airport, this is a private airport, the BA2 system. Uh, it's made by an investor, not owned by the state. So he pays uh, taxes. And so the protocols uh, referred to by Mr. A Mrs. Abla, it is not a type of reaction to the incapability of collecting the taxes, but these protocols were mentioned by the law in its articles that these five places, um, the competence minister and the minister of finance should agree how to evaluate these um, factories based on the market value or an old val price or the prices in the registries and so we made the protocol for the factories in 2014 after that the protocols of the tourism and tourism faced a lot of crisis
Oh, every crisis was um, harder than the one before it, and so we had a problem to to have a protocol. We couldn't agree. They have certain con convictions and um, the circumstances. But um, as a tax entity, uh, our tax base should be uh, fixed, and. Uh, I couldn't keep it due to some emergency, and so things uh, were pended, suspended until we uh, signed this in a way uh, where the authority that will pay the taxes will be accepting this. For example, the hotels will pay this, so they identify their valuation according to the price of the stores in the hotel. And on this basis, we agreed a percentage of the occupation uh, like Dr. Abla said in the presentation, uh, saying that some uh, small projects uh, that we could adopt, production projects, and so we added in the protocol a percentage of occupation. Be be but um, we uh, added this uh, percentage so that we could take the taxes, although the taxes is not um, equal to the percentage that we should have been collected and less than this, but we have applied the law in a way that is acceptable to the people who pay the taxes, which are the tourism sector. The third sector is the petroleum sector. They have lands owned by them. In this petroleum sector, a part is owned by the state and a part of investment, and a part is uh, between the investment and the state. And so the investor is like the foreign or Egyptian investor, and so there should be standards between in the Ministry of Petroleum and the Ministry of Finance. On this basis, they agreed a month ago and they signed at the cabinet, uh, although the problem was the price of the land. They offered that the price of the land be escalated um, with a percentage of the deduction in the central bank. And the minister who was negotiating at that time, he insisted that the increase will be according to the inflation rate. When I calculated, I found that the difference is not big, but he told me that this is a base year and we should fix it. And Mr. Mohammed Maid agreed to this. Uh, and that uh, the price of the land will be based on the deduction rate. As to the other buildings uh, of residence, there was no problem, and we made the investment rate similar to the inv uh, investment rate of the factories. So there were no problems in the protocols that have not been contracted yet, which uh, the thing that has not been contracted yet is the uh, uh, air. Pl air companies, and these are the protocols that have taken place. I'm just commenting on the presentation that the law that included the, it as a part of the agreement with these big authorities in the state with which I should agree to the standards in a way that not, not violate the price of the taxes. We could not say that tourism will pay 8% and factories 10%. Uh, there's a very important point also. Uh, the last point uh, is uh, that now I am uh, talking about protocols and the pr price of the taxes and some current problems. For example, uh, Engineer Mohidin will tell me that the factories have the empty lands and on this you take sub uh, taxes. There is an article in the law saying that the land that is not being utilized the taxpayer, and in case of the credibility of the inspection, we could exempt it from the taxes from the second day of the day of inspection. So today, if I have a factory and I have a land, a non-exploited land, I don't take taxes for that. And so the real estate taxes is take on the real estate and the surrounding land. Uh, because it is utilized. But the last point is important. The presentation also talked about the towers of the mobiles. And 
of course, uh, the, the real estate uh, is uh, the buildings uh, above the lands um, and under the land uh, because they take a space. Also, the mobile towers, we take uh, taxes even if it's found on agricultural land and we take the leasing value uh, from the communication company uh, directly before giving to the lessee and the advertisements if it's more than one year even if it's for um, one year inside the streets, for example, if this uh, advertisement is kept in the street for one year, I take a tax. The last point that is relevant, the leasing value, the presentation says that we want a tax on the wealth, not on the leasing value. Uh, uh, the taxes, there is no taxes on a fund that does not give income. And so the taxes on the empty lands, there was a law saying that it is non-constitutional in 1993, none in 2002, because it was 7% of the capital, and so the capital from 84 to 1993, it decreased. And so there is no tax on a capital that does not give income. But the real estate taxes, since, since it was established for the purpose of the legitimacy of the taxes, so we should take the value of taxes of the value of the real estate, whether actual, like an apartment that you are leasing, or it is established for renting, and so it gives you the revenue that if you uh, stood in another place or you resided in another place, you should pay it. And in 2003, uh, the, the constitutionality of the taxes uh, of the real estates that are built, but in the spacious land that are empty, uh, we have that this is constitutional. Also, uh, the head of the constitutional court, uh, Councillor Mr. Hanafi, he said, Said he paid the taxes and he said that the real estate taxes is constitutional but the rumors that, that took place after the issuing of the law or the application of the articles of the law it was one of the rumors but the rumors was with a purpose because you are talking about a taxes that is not constitutional since 1993. Why you are talking about it once more? So uh, the point that has to do with the people uh, recently said that the real estate taxes, they are taking regressively from us. I want to tell you that the figures of the real estate taxes the payment, the law was uh, uh, applied in the 1st of July 2013. And because of its bad luck, um, the many amendments that took place, we couldn't apply the law, and it was stopped and returned back to the old law because we couldn't know what we will do. And so in the beginning of July 2013, uh, it was issued, but the application of the law was in September 2008. Uh, in line with the different reconciliation items uh, between the taxes and the community. And they made a lot of settlements and reconciliations and giving the different data on their residential units, the people who are filing a lawsuit and their leasing value is less than 20,000 pounds, they have been reconciliation and they pay only 20%. And if the leasing value is less than 10,000 pounds, they made reconciliation and they pay 10%. And it is until the application of the law in the 1st of July. So there is a difference between effectuating the law and application of the law because it couldn't be that we could impose it from the beginning of the issuing of the law and at the same time reconciliations were made with the small values that I'm telling you about when we took the money from the people the community in 2013 and 2014 uh, they were not qualified that the people go to knock the door 
and ask them about the information, about the data. So we usually take from the people who have a responsibility and they go to pay, for example, the real estate taxes. And so in 2014 and 2015, we collected half a million pounds, sorry, a billion, half a billion, uh, 15, 16, half a mi billion. Uh, last year, it's uh, three uh, billions. The problems that occurred that at the beginning, the law, there was the bad luck when we uh, found that the country had been strong enough and there is stability and we are asking the people for this. There were some humors that accompanied this. Even the people of the religion started to talk about the real estate uh, taxes and the humors were a very bad reason for what happened. I want to talk a lot, but I want uh, also uh, for the, other, the opportunity for the other speakers. All of us will talk. Of course, the head of the Constitutional Court had, when he went to pay the taxes, you were very happy and you took a photograph of him.